Hi, and welcome to Ted's Modeling Technique. I've got some new items I want to uh, try out here and uh, let you know some more Dollar Tree specials things. One tool being this MicroMark uh, tapping fixture, and uh, we'll go over that too. Uh, so let's get to it. All right, let's start with the Dollar Tree items. Um, I love these uh, plastic spoons. Uh, normally I get clear, but the white uh, works just as well. I use these for my uh, airbrushing and I paint the spoons so I know what the color is going to actually look like uh, before I spray it. A dollar for all these spoons, they last me a while. These uh, nail buffers, they're good for some uh, light, uh, light sanding uh, for a dollar. Uh, this one happens to have, what, two, four, oh, it's got uh, seven different sides to it, different uh, uh, grits. And, um, you just, uh, you know, something, they don't last forever, that's for sure. But for a dollar and some sanding, I think it's pretty good. Um, they call this a seven-day pill reminder, but uh, each one of these individual uh, caps will store small items. Um, I love it. Um, I've got a bunch of these around, and even while I'm working on something, I'll put some small parts on it and put it aside. Otherwise, they get blown away or fall off the tabletop or something. Um, this paintbrush might seem a little weird for a dollar. Um, I've got, <laughs> I've got uh, something in mind in an upcoming video, and uh, so I just thought I'd pick this up at the same time. Anyway, uh, it's a decent brush uh, for a dollar. It's uh, going to be great. So um, that's it for the Dollar Tree stuff. Let's move on to uh, some uh, more expensive items. Now here's a glue applicator that I picked up at the Hobby Lobby. And um, I'm sure you've seen other types of these before. Uh, this one happens to be called the Fine Line, <coughs> excuse me, applicator, and it's uh, $4.99 at Hobby Lobby. And uh, what I like about it is uh, not only does it have a screw off top, but I don't know if you can see this uh, wire inside here uh, that actually goes down inside this little stainless steel tube because this thing is always getting clogged. I don't know how many of these little touch and flow applicators I've gone through. You know, they clog up, but I really like them not so much for glue, but for the um, accelerator, uh, the kicker. Uh, I really like that. You can just put a touch of kicker on something to make it dry faster. But um, I haven't tried this yet, but uh, it certainly looks like it's going to be a winner winner chicken dinner. Um, again, like I mentioned in an earlier video when I get done with uh, a glue any kind of a glue I'll squeeze it you know of course you want to make sure it's not going down uh, squeeze it just to get the air out of it and you can hear the air push out so it clears the tube I've had more success with that I love it but uh, this tip is uh, is really going to work out well because it uh, actually will seal this thing I wish they'd make that in a uh, silicone glue how many tubes of silicone glue have you gone through because it hardens up on you. Um, this is something I picked up at um, uh, Walmart. I was actually looking for something to uh, uh, drill small holes with that uh, were, um, you know, just uh, something other than just my, uh, what do you call it, the pin vise. You know, these little pin vices that uh, you use all the time. You know, something other than these uh, that uh, would be a little more automated. And I found this, I thought, well, it's kind of gimmicky, but I tried it out, and actually, it's a, supposed to be a screwdriver. It's called the Black and Decker, Black and Decker Gyro, because it actually works by, uh, by turning it. Uh, once you grip it, it's got the little, little light in there, which I don't really care about, but it uh, goes really slow in either direction. And, and that's really slick. I've, I've made some really nice holes with this thing. It's easier to hold on to. And it, and it goes to like, I don't know if you can see that. It's just like really slow. You can't get that with a Dremel. It's the lowest speed on a Dremel, like 5,000 RPMs or something. And uh, this was, uh, I think, $30 at uh, Walmart. You can probably get it uh, less somewhere else. Uh, but it doesn't do any good unless you can put a drill bit in there. And this is made for... Uh, a screwdriver hex uh, tip. So um, I happened to find this one at uh, Micromark and it goes down to like zero. 
because the smallest bit I have, you know, we've all got these little drill indexes. The smallest bit goes down to a, a number 80. This thing holds that number 80 without a problem. Look how slow this thing goes. It's, I'd really like that. And all you need to do is, whoops, I've got to grip it. All you need to do is turn it and you can go the direction you want. I really like this thing. I've had some good success with this. And this tip is really invaluable. Um, something I've had for a while, this X-Acto uh, tool holder. I like the idea that, um, you know, I've got this carousel you've seen in a previ previous uh, video, I'm sure, that has all the uh, parts in there, or tools, I should say. Um, I, it's really handy, but this thing I could just have off to the side. It's got a little trap door and hide stuff in there, I guess. Um, uh, the only problem is this uh, foam. I'm going to have to replace this occasionally because I see the more I use it, the holes get bigger and bigger. But like something like this, I don't have to. If I really use these little scissors uh, frequently, and it comes with a little rubber tip because it's pretty sharp. And uh, so you know, another multiple process. Pull the tip off. This way, I can stick it down in there, and uh, you know, get these things that I use all the time here. Little uh, tweezers. So I really like this. I forgot what this cost. I probably should have looked it up before um, I mentioned it. Um, let's, um, oh, and while I'm speaking of glues, um, you know I'm a fan of this uh, Loctite, simple, plain old Loctite super glue. Um, it, it, it doesn't clog on me. It, uh, it's a good consistency, really cheap, easy to find. And I have to, had to get a new one. And this one has a different applicator altogether. Um, you can see it's all kind of gummed up here, but works every time. And um, little squeeze sides here to push it out. Little Loctite super glue. This happens to be a gel control. Love it. All right, let's move on to some of the um, oh, the bigger uh, Microlux, uh, Micromark part. Hang on. Okay, here's my Micromark Microlux tapping fixture. Um, got it from uh, Micromark, obviously, and um, again, it was uh, an idea of something. I've been looking for something that I can make some uh, uh, holes, small holes in small objects, and uh, I've got a little uh, plastic uh, rig I put on here to hold my parts, but the uh, chuck that comes with this thing um, goes down to zero also, because I thought I might have to need this uh, little hex uh, bit that I showed you just a minute ago. And um, this goes down to zero, so I don't need this. I figured I'd have to have that inside, but um, doesn't need it. Uh, look, it's a quality um, little little tool. This uh, whole arm slides up and down. This slides up and down. Um, but it's a way to um, hold it, hold the drill bit and the piece I'm drilling um, easily. And that's uh, kind of what I was looking for. Um, little chuck key on here and whatnot. Uh, the price of this thing was um, seventy-three dollars, uh, plus a few dollars shipping. But I think I I got it when uh, they were offering free shipping on uh, on their parts. Um, and I forgot to mention this: this little uh, thing, little uh, hex uh, drill bit or chuck, micro chuck they call it. It's a micro chuck with quarter inch uh, hex shaft, micro mark again, and it was ten ninety-five for this. Uh, God, I love this little thing. It's going to come in handy. Um, so that's it for now. Um, email me. Give me uh, any questions you've got. Um, come visit my website. Thanks for watching.